Hi, I'm Linda Davis, a member of Anna Aspinus's creative team. I just finished an outstanding and inspiring class by Anna entitled AA Project on creating albums or books. I'm hoping she'll offer it again for those of you who missed it but would like information on putting together a book. I learned about planning and creating double page spreads, all new information for me. While sharing our layouts in the private group, several questions came up regarding masks and templates. Today, I thought I'd try to answer questions specific to just this layout. One, would you demonstrate how you blended the photos of the bumper boats? Two, how do water watercolor masks differ from the basic photo blends masks provided in the project album or the simple photo blends album? Three, is there a reason that the watercolor masks blend better with the water event photos? As I began to try to answer these questions, I wanted to share there is actually very little blending with layer masks on this page. I, I think I added a layer mask to only one transfer. I know that I touched up a mask to make a face more visible or to erase parts of the mask, and I also mask out portions of a photo that I didn't want to show. Otherwise, I use photo blends masks and transfers to get the watery look for this layout. Let's go through the layers so that I can show you what I mean. I'm going to turn off the composite. On this page, I basically have two photos. My son and the two youngest and my oldest grandson are all in one photo, and my middle grandson was in a photo by himself. But I wanted to give, to eliminate a stranger. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In this photo, there's a complete stranger and a wall. And here is my younger, uh, Oh, photo. Here's my youngest grandson, uh, and I wanted to create a scene where it looked like, let me turn this off, where it looked like they were, I had captured all of them together at one time. Now to do this, I basically used three watercolor masks, and let me show you there is a difference. This is the photo, the one on the left over here. This is, a, uh, this is the photo blends, um, a mask from the photo blends template set number one, uh, template one, the uh, album number, template 14, album number one. And this is one of the photo blends masks that Anna sells in her store. And if you look, you can see how very different the edges are of the mask and how different the mask looks. This gives much more of a watery look than the um, template, um, the mask within the template. So what I did is I used three different, here's another one that I used. I'll just move this over so you can see. And I combined three different watercolor photo blends mask to get that look. I simply switched out the mask to make it easier for me to get a watery look. Now let's look at what this looks like, the layers panel looks like on this. And you can see, I'm going to close this out so we don't get distracted. This is um, watercolor photo blends number two where my middle grandson is and if I um, turn off the layer mask. You can see you're seeing just a little bit of the um, wall and I didn't want that so that's why I added a layer mask to it and I'm going to enable it. On this one, let's see if I can show just that one. There's the mask but I added a, a uh, layer mask to it and you can, I'm going to turn that disable that. It gives a bit of a double exposure look and I don't want that so that's why I added a layer mask just to mask out part of it and I will put the enable that again and on the top one this is my you you can see that he shows a part of him shows in the original photo those those photos are linked together but 
I wanted to show enough of him. And on this one, I changed, I recolored the mask from um, black to white because sometimes I find that that helps when you're blending on a light, trying to use a mask to blend on a light background. And if I turn off, okay, here I mask out part of the mask and I also mask out part of the photo. You don't if I disable that, you can see how much of the wall is showing and the way it looks, and I don't want it to look that way. So I'm going to enable that mask. But behind it, to fill in the area, I added Transfer 9 from Art Play Palette Oasis and Transfer 2 from Art Play Palette Oasis. So that's that's all it is, is clipping mask, just brushing out a little bit if that uh, for parts you don't need that's all that I did in order to get that composite looking composite like that the rest of this um, page is basically um, artsy transfers additional transfers okay added to the background and some texture there are some uh, taped uh, taped textures that were added but that's it now, I hope I have answered the questions about the mask for this specific um, layout. I want to thank my classmates for asking the questions. I love the sharing and support for one another in Anna's classes. And if you haven't taken Anna Blends Live, I encourage you to sign up for the next session. Anna explains how just how easy it is to create complex looking art along with design principles for creating artsy layouts. You can find information for registration in Anna Blends Live at AnnaAspenisDesigns.com slash classes. Anna's designs, including the uh, project template set, the photo blends, watercolor photo blends mask, and the artsy transfers that I used uh, for this layout are in her store at oscraps.com. And please let Anna know if you have any other questions.